Hey guys, welcome back to Mega Man 10. Uh, Mega Man, are you okay? Oh no, he's been infected by the virus. Dr. Light, the medicine-making machine is gone. What should we do? Greetings, people of the world! I hope you enjoying the effects of my little robo the virus. <laughs> if there are any robots who want the cure, all you have to do is come work for me. I don't think Mega Man is going to save you like he usually does. He's come down with a nice case of Rabuenza himself. <laughs> now you will finally see the true genius of Dr. Wily. <laughs> the world is mine. <laughs> I should have known. This was Dr. Wily's doing all along. I have to stop. Ugh. No, you're in no condition to do anything. Oh, look, it's Roll. Roll! Mega Man, use this. I thought you took your medicine already. I was saving it in case a really sick robot was brought in. But roll. You need it. If I use it, I still can't stop Wily. But if you take it, you can stop him. Thank you, Roll. Sit tight. I'll stop Dr. Wily. And bring back enough medicine for everyone. Wow, Rolla, you're too kind. We're all counting on you, Mega Man! Good luck! Be careful. Out there. Alright, so... Let's take on the Dr. Wily stages! Right now! All right, here we go. So we start off outside of the Dr. Wily Fortress. It's raining. Wow, it must be flooding if the water's gonna be that high. Hmm. Well, anyway, we got these robots that can actually do a lot of damage to you. Trying to get hit by that missile. <laughs> All right, here comes one of the bosses. It's the Weapons Archive. It basically has the powers of previous Robot Masters, and in this case, Woodman. And Woodman is weak against the Triple Blade, and then Gemini Man is weak against the Wheel Cutter. And then there's Elec Man, also weak against the Wheel Cutter. Oh, crap. I'm taking a lot of damage. Uh, one more hit. There we go! Let's go ahead and switch back to the Mega Buster. And we begin to the first Dr. Wily stage. All right, get these platforms from Sheep Man stage. They disappear. All right, so let's get that health. We're gonna drop down here and go to the left. Ow. Okay, so this enemy, you gotta basically shoot from behind. Yes, yeah, the shield enemy, you have to shoot it from behind. Got more Mets, of course, the typical enemy in Mega Man. Thankfully, it left some health. Alright, drop down here and avoid the spikes, but it's pretty easy to avoid, so... Shouldn't be too troublesome to get through there. 
Got some enemies from Nitro Man stage, and of course the Sniper Joes. Purple. My favorite color! <laughs> Alright. So, it looks like we're... Oh, more enemies. The enemy from Strike Man stage. Throw some balls at ya. Alright, looks like we're coming across another weapons archive. Yep, here's the next weapons archive. This one is... Flame Man, obviously we can the water shield. Alright, now we got Napalm Man. Um, we use the Rebound Striker. Then Ring Man. We can get Solar Blade. Few more hit. There we go. One more hit. And he's down. Alright, so let's go back to the Mega Buster. Because I like using the good old Mega Buster. Oh! The Cursor enemies from Sheet Man stage. They highlight and then use those blocks to attack you. And they're coming back because, well, Mega Man enemies respawn when you get out of the screen where they spawn from. Gotta do it again. But it's a good thing they're leaving health packs. Lots of them, surprisingly. They usually never leave this many. They always drop some ammo packs whenever I really need some health. And when I already have full health, they already always try to leave some health packs. It's like they never drop the stuff that I really need. Alright, more of these spikes. I have spike protection too, so if I got hit by them, it wouldn't, wouldn't kill me. But if you don't have spike protection, they will kill you. So be careful. The more of these enemies, if you stand their heads, they go down. Those Nitro Man enemies again. They're kind of annoying with those turrets. And once again, they're going to respawn, but thankfully they're dropping some health packs. I love that. Drop more health packs. Oh, and then there's an ammo pack, and I have the energy balancer, so I can refill ammo on some of my weapons want to kill that guy. That's why I jipped to the, the previous screen by accident. Alright, looks like we're getting closer to the final weapons archive. Yeah, we are. We've got this enemy to deal with. And he's gone. Alright, final weapons archive. Alright, so first we have... Slash Man in 8-bit, but it's not the same one from Rockman FC, obviously, but... He's weak against the Chill Spikes. And then there's Tornado Man, who's weak against the Thunder Wool, even though it's a fucking terrible weapon. <laughs> but, yeah, he's weak against it. It's not too hard to hit him, after all. Alright. So, back to Chill Spikes. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Mega Buster. Ow. Just gotta keep my distance. Not too hard to defeat him, but keeps jumping to where I am. He's responding. Okay, there's Frostman, also an 8-bit. <laughs> Weak against the commando bombs. Crap. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Hope hopefully I don't have to use an E-Tank! No! I don't wanna use an E-Tank! I don't wanna use an E-Tank! No! No. Oh, one more hit! One more hit! We both have one health left! Yes! Yeah, I did it! There's only one health left! <laughs> Usually I'm not this energetic, but... <sighs> that really excited me. Alright, Wily stage number two for Mega Man 10. So right off the bat, we got these conveyor belts that will lead you to the spikes. I'm gonna grab these ammo packs to restore my weapons energy. Uh, of course, we got enemies from Commando Man stage, the one that appear from the bombless pit. So if you get hit by them, you could fall into the bombless pit. That would suck. And hello, it's the enemy from Nitro Man stage again. Shoot its head because it has a shield that's covering everything except for his head. There's an extra life if you want it down there, and there's also a W tank if you want it up there. But I'm just gonna go ahead and oh crap! 
I almost forgot I had Beat Call. That's a good thing. Thank God I bought some. <laughs> so... Well, this song is pretty awesome. The Dr. Wily stage songs are really good in this game. In fact, I think Mega Man 10 has my favorite soundtrack in all the Mega Man games. Okay, I think I'll go ahead and get that E-Tank. I'm gonna need it. Alright, let's go ahead and use Rush Coil and get back up there. Man, the Dr. Wily stage songs, man. They're great. The next one after this, it's even better. I know a lot of people like to compare the uh, a Dr. Wily stage theme from another Mega Man game that isn't 2 to the Mega Man 2 Dr. Wily stage theme. I'm sorry, but I really love this one a lot. I mean, don't get me wrong, the second uh, Mega Man 2 Dr. Wily stage theme is pretty good too. But, you know, Mega Man 10 is my favorite soundtrack of all the Mega Man games, but anyway. Here is that mini boss from Solar Man stage again, the Firebirds. It's like Ho Oh, or Moltres <laughs> from Pokemon. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. Uh, yep, yeah, you got. Oh, and these crushers. Be careful not to be crushed by them. I usually just like to wait. Just. Just for good measure, so... And now we can proceed. I don't know when that's gonna come down. Probably next. Yep. Now let's move on. I don't know what's coming up next. No, let's go ahead and take those health packs. Whatever's next is... Oh, the mini-boss from Sheep Man Stage, of course. Don't really like this one, but... Ah, crap. Just gotta run on these conveyor belts. Activate the weak spot. Ah, crap! I just want to keep one enemy up there, so I don't have to spawn two more. Of course, I totally jump into it. Uh, I just want to keep that one in, so I don't have to have two. Better one than just than two of them. There we go. We finished them off. Oh crap! Well, there goes one of my spike protections. But I'm lucky that I'm not dead. <laughs> All right. So, oh health pack, good. Of course, there's snowman and possibly a warm enough place for no snow to be around. Ow. Maybe it is cool in here, I don't know. Doesn't look cool enough for ice to be around here. <laughs> Ow! Of course, the, the snowman head, I forgot about that. Or, well, I didn't pay attention to it. At least. Alright, this is kind of a tough jump, but... Ah! Uh, it's just in that rush jet. Alright. Of course, we got this enemy in the way. Go ahead and kill it. Oh man, what? Ooh, I almost fell in. But I probably have some beat calls left, so even if I did fall in, it wouldn't have been so bad. Let's go ahead and use Rush Jet. I think we should go ahead and get. No, let's not do that. Let's just go ahead and go on. I was gonna get that ammo pack, but I don't think we'll need it. I think we're good enough. Besides, we have some weapons can, so. Uh, let's move. All right. Oh! <laughs> He's got crushed! All right, so... Okay, we've got some spikes here. Yeah, I'm shooting to the music. It's pretty obvious. Ow! Huh? <laughs> Why? Okay, better be careful here so I don't get hit again. Okay, good. I don't even know if I have any more spike protection, but... Of course, we got these enemies again. It's annoying. Ah! Crap. Didn't want to get hit by him. Well, let's see. The next boss shouldn't be too hard. 
Oh, it's that crab boss, actually. It's crab puncher. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the explosions of commando bombs to destroy those arms. I'll go ahead and start using the triple blade as well for the eyes. But I can't use can't use it to attack the oh crap the bubbles. Can't use it to attack the arms. It shoots bubbles, so you want to be careful. Yeah, I'll go ahead and use an E-Tank anyway. I got one... I just saw I had one spike protection left and two beat calls left. Which is good. Let's see, let's go ahead and... Go back to the... Um... Let's go back to the triple blade. And of course, we got more of these bubbles. Go ahead and use Thunder Rule. Finish it off. Nope. Oh, right there. There we go. Ah! Not close enough. Now, why didn't I even shoot the bottom eye? Why was I so focused on the top? Oh, well. Well, we beat that Crab Puncher. It's all that matters. Now we're on to Wily Stage number three. And we start off with a great song. This is probably my favorite song in the Dr. Wily stages of Mega Man 10. Easily. So good. So we get, got hit by that enemy. <laughs> Ow. Let's go ahead and switch to Rush Coil. And refill our energy, like our weapons energy. Now this is my favorite part of the song. That's such a great song. So anyway, what you gotta do here is on the platform, you gotta press these buttons and move it. The one on the right moves right, the one on the left moves left. Go figure. You wanna avoid the spikes and avoid the enemies that you're about to come across. And then platforms will automatically build itself for you to walk on to this room. Of course, there's another Sniper Joe. All right, there we go. Let's move on. Now we got some water. And it's green. Blech. And of course, we got these teeter-totter. <laughs> teeter-totter platform. And there's enemies in the way, too. Yeah, when I first played through this, this was hell to get through. But I did make it. And I will make it again. Don't you worry. Jump. Make sure not to jump too high or hit the spikes. Even though I have... I think I have one more spike protection. I don't think I used it yet. I just, I'm aching to get to the other side. I don't want to be... Uh, let's just use Rush Jet. Fuck this. Oh, crap! Jump! Good. All right. Don't want to jump too high. Want to just jump high enough to get the ammo packs, but not jump too high where I touch the spikes. Of course, I got hit by the purple balls. It'll make me slip and slide. There we go. We got it. More Mets, of course. The ones that shoot purple balls like in Puff Fan stage. Now, obviously, we're running across Pump Man enemies because of the fact that there's water. Hope I can get rid of that enemy up there. I'm not sure how to use the triple plate still. No, I could just use the Mega Buster now. Alright, let's move on. Just using Rush Jet just to make sure I make it up here. So I'll go ahead and grab all this stuff. And there's going to be another section of that platform that can move by touching these buttons. This one. With spikes when you're just elevating up. Now there's a lot more spikes and more enemies. Or bullets too. <laughs> yeah, more enemy comes more bullets. Didn't want to get hit by the spikes. 
looks like we've made it. Almost. There we go. Alright. Now to move on. Oh. This part makes me a little nervous. Jump. Jump. Let's go ahead and just... Ow. Use the chill spikes. Ow! Gonna have to use another E-Tank. Alright, let's go back to the Mega Buster and just finish off this enemy. We don't need to worry about killing that one. That was easy. Alright, so... Easy enemy. Yep, there's the... There, here comes the boss! But I think I want to go ahead and get this E-Tank first. Use Rush Coil. And... Get that too. Alright, now we're ready for the boss. Make sure you have the Rebound Striker equipped. It's gonna be good against the Block Devil. So, some of the blocks from the walls and the ground will form into the middle. It's kinda like the uh, second boss of the Dr. Wily stage in Mega Man 2. But here comes the eye. That's what you want to hit. With the rebound striker, because it's strong against it. Oh, one more hit, please. One more hit, please, please, one more hit. Or no, a few more hits, actually. One more now. Crap. Gotta have to wait a while again. Let's just go ahead and use an E-tank. Might not need it, but let's just use it just in case. All right, let's get out our triple blade and let's... Yeah, we can attack him right there. There we go. <laughs> Look how close I was off the edge. I don't know if you can actually fall through. That would suck. That would be bullshit if you could. But thankfully, we didn't. So, now we're on to the fourth Dr. Wily stage. You know what that means? Boss rush time. But first we gotta climb this tower. So let's go ahead and grab these ammo packs and we got the energy balancer too, so. All right, let's go ahead and move on. Oh boy. Oh crap. I'm not liking it already. Oh boy. These aren't too hard to avoid. Oh boy, but I want that E-Tank. I really do. I used a lot of E-Tanks, and I kind of want another one, just in case. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and try. Yeah, let's, let's, do, let's do it. Yes, definitely. We only have three, but I think we're going to need one more. But not... Let's not jump off right away. Ah! Okay. I think we can... There we go. We got it. Alright. Now let's move on. Let's see. I... Hmm, maybe I should get that ammo pack too, just in case. But I don't want to accidentally refill Rush Coil. Hmm. Yeah, I want to... I want to switch my Mega Buster. There we go. We got it. All right, now it's boss rush time. We fight all the eight robot masters again. Starting with... Solar Man. Weak against Pump Man's weapon, which is the water shield.
and they'll always leave a health pack after you defeat them. Now let's fight... Blade Man! Weak against the Commando Bombs, which is Commando Man's weapon. Alright, now let's go ahead and take on Chill Man. This is obvious it's Chill Man because of the floor. Weak against the Solar Blaze, which is Solar Man's weapon. Alright, next up we have... Nitro Man, weak against Chill Spikes from Chill Man. Next off, we have Strike Man. I know that because of the grass. It's like sports grass. Weak against the Triple Blade, which is Blade Man's weapon. Next, we have... Sheep Man, and now that we have a weakness for him, which is the Rebound Striker, we finally get to defeat him with East. Because we didn't have it last time because it was the first Robot Master we fought. But this is going to be a breeze. Okay, maybe that wasn't as breezy as I wanted it to be, but we defeated Sheep Man, that's all that matters. So, next we have Commando Man, who is weak against the Wheel Cutter from Nitro Man. Alright, one more, and that's Pumped Man, because... Well, process of elimination. And the water. It's dead giveaway. Weak against Thunder Wool from Sheep Man. Even though it's terrible. But it'll do. And if I run out, I can just use the Mega Buster. Wow, I used an E tank because I thought I was going to get hit, but I didn't. Oh well, we kind of needed it anyway. So here is the boss. 
after the boss rush. It is weak against Solar Blaze. So let's go ahead and get that out. Of course, I run out! Perfect. Oh, well, let's just go ahead and use the Mega Buster. It's good enough. It'll do. I'm going to need to use an E-Tank. i okay, got one more after this. Hopefully the next Dr. Wily stage has one. I think it does, actually. Not sure what to do. Hmm. Guess I'll just use the Mega Buster. Really not that hard, really. All right, that was the first part of that boss. Now we need to use the Water Shield. Watch out for the green projectiles it shoots. And it can drop down too, so... Use the Water Shield and just go up into its face. I'm gonna have to use a W Can for the Water Shield now. Let's go ahead and do that. We're almost done. Just one more hit. There we go. Now for the final Dr. Wily stage with the final boss. There we go. Now watch how we get there in the map. So we are all the way up to outer space. Everything's upside down, and it's all floaty too, so when you jump, it's gonna feel like you're underwater. It's like Starman stage from Mega Man 5, pretty much. Of course, we got these enemies from Mega Man 2. Now, I want to make sure my health is all the way up. I just want to be extra careful. But, you know, they're always going to keep be coming, so you can just farm here for as much health as you want. But, like I said, usually I don't get the things I want when I'm trying to farm for some health. So... Well, this song is awesome, by the way. For some reason, it reminds me of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. And it definitely fits the soundtrack for Mega Man 10. And it definitely fits the song that plays when you're about to fight the final boss, too. I'm just trying to get some fucking health! Jeez. I want to be here all day. Alright, that is the end of them for now. They're coming back, though, later on. That is not an M tank, that is a W tank. It's upside down. Let's see. Which way should I go? Maybe I should go down here? Actually, no. Mm, yeah, let's just go this way. I'll take this, these ladders. Actually, no, no. No, no, I'll keep going. No, I don't want to... Let's not be wishy-washy. Alright. Of course, these enemies come back again, but thankfully they're dropping some health packs so I can go ahead and farm on some health before I get to the final boss, because I want to have full health before the final boss. But I think there should be an E-Tank around the end of this stage, I hope. Alright. Ah, of course, I have full health and I'm just going to get hit again. I really don't want to have to take too much time farming. I'll just keep going. Hopefully this can give me some health. Give me a little bit. A screw. I don't really need screws at this point because we're not going back to the shop. We're already at the final boss. But we're actually at the end of this room now. So we're about to fight the final boss. There's an E-Tank. Okay, there. I knew there was an E-Tank. And then that's an M-Tank. Looks like a W, but it's upside down. But here we go. The final boss is here. Now let's send out your chill spike. It is weak against the chill spikes. But it's a good thing I have some weapons can so I can refill the energy for it. So here it is. One of them's the real Dr. Wily, and then the other one's fake. You want to hit the real Dr. Wily. You can tell, like, the other Dr. Wily has, like, gray skin, so it's like a robot. It has something on its forehead, too, so... 
and the real Dr. Wily will occasionally sneeze too. So that's all you need to know. It's really not that hard after all. I might have to use... An... Yeah, let's go ahead and refill some energy for this chill spikes. Alright. I'm not using E tank for it. Alright, back to the chill spikes. Good boy. Alright, there we go. Just a few more hits, and it's down. There we go! That was Mega Man 10! We beat Mega Man 10, and we beat every single Mega Man game right before tomorrow, which is the release of Mega Man 11. So, I'm ready for Mega Man 11. I've got you now. Um, Dr. Wily? You've got a fever. Did you catch the Roboenza virus too? I'm a human, not a robot. I gotta get you to a hospital. A few days later. Oh no, Dr. Riley's gone missing. Oh, what's this? A bunch of pills to cure Roboenza. Everything's all good now. So, that was Mega Man 10!